and hello everybody and welcome back to surviving the aftermath now last episode we did a few here and there new buildings we built a few new buildings like example the waste dump i just moved the waste dump now from this virtual land, uh, area here over here now to this barren land where we couldn't build anything anyway plus it's way outside here the only danger that we have outside here is well the worm that appeared here um, last time. So I should be careful of that. But other than that, we have the waste dump here. So now we can finally employ someone in the environmental station. Um, and I'd say actually, let's take two here for the environmental station, because over here, I want to get rid of this polluted area here as quickly as possible. So we do have another specialist here, so back. Let's send him to the world map right away. Um, we've also finished what I can see is the guard post that is over here. Very good. So there would be someone now. But let's just get rid of this guy here again because I don't think we're going to need a guard just yet. Now, finally two people are working there and now we can get rid of the pollution here. Very important because this pollution tile here is polluting the whole area here. So all the tiles around it. That is something we really, really cannot have. Now, that is that. Um, next up would be, let's have a look. Over here, we have a bit of food. Since we do need the food, let's just get it. Um, I still believe that that is food. Otherwise, I would have no idea. It's a farm, so it looks like bacon. Might be bacon, but that's what I want to take here. Um, that is with Zobek, so he has 25 food. Because some colonists are malnutrition right now so we only have berries and potatoes and harvestable crops and people are not getting stuffed with that so that is something we really cannot do that is so back so big is over here um we've also gotten our first car now to the colony unfortunately we don't have a repair station for it yet so what we want to do is i'm already doing the bartering here this tag gives us the trade center, very important to trade with societies. And then we have the motorization here. This opens up the garage that we need for the vehicles. But not only that, it also gives us the engine overhaul so we can then get a station wagon. And next up, very important is the reinforced gate. Now with this one, we can then finally um, reinforce our gate with battle weapons and well structures to be um, a defendable against um, the bandits that are coming and then we have the fortress here and this is our goal really um, so we have four workshops then and even some weapons that we can use against the ongoing attackers because this sorry wall here is not doing much good here at the moment this is not working out so that's that um, hopefully those things are coming to a better um, and then, so two colonists are malnourished at the moment. Cannot do really much about that. Um, and what we can see here, very good. The first pollution is being taken away here from this tile there. Um, and hopefully we don't have to, well, clean those buildings then here anymore in the future. Like what we have to do right now here, especially the tent. Very bad, very bad habit if we do that. Now here we have idling, so we can get rid of that mat post here again. And over here we have now the fields with the corn and the potatoes and hopefully we don't have any more nuclear fallouts on our way um, to the next field. Clean water storage has also been finished. Now, last time I did a mistake. Last time what I did, um, we built here the water tower. Now the water tower is only for buildings. So it's only storing water for buildings that need water. I haven't found a building yet that needs water. Um, perhaps it's for the fields, but we need the water the clean water storage here so this is filtering water and is creating drinkable water out of it so that's what we need right this is very important um and then we can just you know have the drinkable water here so we were storing water but in the wrong building so far now with the water storage much better all right this is that um while this is happening, we don't need a guard so far. My specialists are ready once again. So my Sobek here can give me some um, jerky. So that's finally a name that we have for this one. Jerky. And over here we have more components that we can scavenge. We should do that right away. And over here we can go for scouting. Oh, very good. Another research station here. This is a radar. And we already have 990 tech points. So we should, you know, continue with researching. We have the bartering. So we can go for motorization right away. Spending the points that we have there. And yeah, 
People should not be malnourished anymore now. But well, that's that. Let's send my specialists now back to the world map. So Sang that we have there. And where is my Sobek guy? There he is. Let's also send him to the map. And oh, we have another bandit group. Small group of bandits approach the gate, dragging someone with them. The leader points a gun to the captive's head and yells, We found your colonists snooping around our camp. You want a bag? Polly the sorts life for some of that sweet loot you got stashed. Now they want five medicine. We do have 12 medicine. Um, and we would actually get a colonist with this. Okay, let's do that. So we pay five medicine and get a colonist. You begrudgingly pay the bandits what they want. The group leaves the gates with their spoils. And that is colonist Zoe. There she is. And she is in a bad condition right now. She actually needs a doctor for trade. Yep, and there. She goes to the medical tent right away. So back. Let's get some more food from that farm. Perfect. And Sang, you're new. Um, we could use him up here. This is a decaying house. So there would be buffalo worms that we could use. Nah, do we not have any more food than in the surrounding area? Do we have some tools? We might use them and other than that food is not really something you can find out here you have cockroaches i'm certainly not going to use that though so let's go um with yeah iodine pills up here and more scouting that we can do so let's set sang up there that is fine and so we also needs a home and we still have some malnourished people but not for such a long time anymore now the trapper here i've also moved the trapper has now a beautiful location here by the lake because over here it wasn't really worth it. You know, it was just in the way here of that path over there to the forest. So it makes more sense to have the trapper here. Plus, we do have a beautiful forest here as well to get some more out of that. That is that. Um, so we should be being treated now. And trapper has been completed now. Very good. So we can now move the work area. Yeah, over here, as we can see, 100% work efficiency for this trapper here. Um, also, the trapper, well, gives us also some meat here. So we didn't have any meat at the moment. That's why, um, yeah, people were malnourished. Right. Also, we finished another concrete deposit over here. But we still have, yeah, a few planks there that we can use. That's something. And food storage-wise, the berries... We still have five berries there. Only one carrier at the moment though, so mm -hmm. we might not have enough people doing those jobs at the moment. Now it doesn't really matter. Over here, Recycler is doing its job and yeah, very good. The polluted area here, taking progress, going down with two people doing the jobs here, the dirty, the dirty jobs there. And once this is gone, we can finally, finally, you know, build a few more things here. And a little bit later on, my specialists are ready again. So let's get some more components up here in the north. There's also some snow here. Nice detail that we get out of this one. And the wallaby. Yes, let's get us some research points there. 1,100 research points. That's beautiful. And here we can... Oh no, the farm is actually empty. We could get some tools, right? Yeah, let's get the tools because we don't need tools anyway. And it's good that we have some here so we don't need to craft them ourselves. And Sang, Sang continues to this area here. Perhaps Sang is good as a fighter too. It seems like he's a good fighter too. We might get those lairs here and see what's hidden there because those bandits are hiding whatever is in that zone. Now that's all working out. We have the fishing hut. And the burial pit has no one has stored one though right now. I wonder why because we lost one here at the gate <laughs> And actually there should have been two now. I don't know perhaps they Go to some place Once they're dead Bullet area here takes quite a, some time there. It's not, not expected to take that much time. We have two people assigned to it I would love for this one to disappear more quickly Because we really really don't can afford that repairing all the time the cleaning of the buildings also so it has been healed very good so we can empty the tent out again and also we need to build a shanty another one so let's have it let's have the shanty here for now right in this area or up here having two more shanties here yep that makes sense let's have one here for now 
And that's that. What we still want though is since we're not producing enough food, we might just also go for another fishing hut or another trapper. So of course we can have two of them. Um, and I think another fishing hut over here by the, by the lake makes sense. So there we can just have it. If we can squeeze it in. There it was possible for a second. This is possible, very good. And there we have a fishing hut as well, and another one. Building resources are fine, we shouldn't worry about that. So there we have the two fields there and the fishing hut. Perfect. More specialists are ready again for work. We have lots of researching up here, or exploring. Oh, what is that? Ruined apartments. That's rare metals, valuable and hard to find material for advanced component and electronic production. Alright. Down here, a bit more research, posting us to 1,300 research points, and Sobag. What could you do, you sexy Sobag? Perhaps some fighting there as well? We could clean out those bandits then way more quickly. Or actually, yes, I wanted to get the tools here. And he will need two turns for that anyway. And Sang, Sang can go exploring just up here then. Whatever he finds should be fine. Motorization has been completed, um, so we can finally now repair the cars, and I want to go with the reinforced gate right away. So this one here, it does actually need some maintenance then, metal, but it will hopefully give us a better gate that we can use. Uh, Material-wise, we should probably get the stockpile that we have here right now to an area where we also have a bit of concrete then lurking around. So there we have a large concrete. But I think there was the worm, and I don't want to meet the worm again so quickly. There we have concrete and planks. That's a good good area, even though it's a bit far away, but it's it should be fine. Pollution. As we can see, the area is getting much smaller now. So in that case, only 12 remain. And we have another irradiated guy. Let's send him there. And a group of survivors. Two adults, three children, please don't attack again. I feel like this is just a prolonging the inevitable. We need plans to build ships and set sail across the sea. Alright, we accepted them. Six colonists are homeless now. It's that many. But it's very good to see so many new people coming into the colonies. We have now more than 20. Let's have another shanty for those guys. Definitely will need a second one. And yes, with that, we have enough cloth though. I definitely want someone in addition for the recycler then. And yeah, the environmental station. Someone can definitely work there. And having a capacity of 5% only the waste dump here so we can store way more. That's pretty fine. There is a glowing colonist here. That's Lucas. So he should definitely get to the doctor. Who is not busy at the moment. So hopefully we do something about that. Now... Since we have so many people, I'm also... Yeah, first of all, one we are using for the fisher. And another one I want to use then for another trapper that we can do. Um, and those fields, yeah, they are growing. So we really cannot do that much over there. Stockpile. Lots of stockpile. Warehouse. And as we can see, the settlement is growing there with more shanties. Very good. Only four pollution remains. So he should now be clearing the pollution here finally. Come on, you can do this. Very good. And there it's gone. It should be gone now. There it is gone. Very good. No more pollution here. Um, let's have a look at the specialist there again real quick. The rare material or rare metal there, I definitely want to take. And there we have some exploration. Uh, medicine that we don't really need. So back. Still the tools. And Sang. Sang might be going for some fighting there soon. But only soon. No, I'm so happy that we finally are rid of that. I can actually say bye-bye to two now because it's not that urgent anymore clearing out the rest, right? So here we have plenty of space. I will probably want to get rid of those here. Probably of those two here. Yeah, that could be a bit too close here to the trappers then. Otherwise, 
this one here needs decontamination and they hopefully never need that anymore here everything is clean so we can have a huge beautiful city here she has one problem despair long periods of unhappiness not very good and day 22 is coming to an end and a beautiful colony so far um, we have still have one irradiated one he's being treated three colonists still homeless but we're already building the shanty and researching the reinforced gate is coming to an end soon we pro I would do have now a food problem though so one additional worker in the fishing hut is fine we will need additional workers though for the trapper and we have a polluted area here now right so that is something we need to do quickly then as well so having two at the environmental station is probably more important and reinforced concrete uh, reinforced gate has been finished so we can now finally reinforce our gate let's just get the last rare metal up here here yeah let's actually get the meds in we don't have that much of it coming out of there and here once more for the tools that we still need and sang you go for this one there okay so sang is definitely up for some fighting here now that's something we need to do now let's have a look at the gate real quick we have now the garage here and there is the gate is that the reinforced gate now or has the gate now been automatically reinforced yeah i think it has because i don't see any oh cool i don't even need to build this so there are no cars here anymore but rather metal walls that we can see here on this side so this is now a much stronger gate and yeah we have one here occupied so far but if there's an attack coming again hopefully they will have a harder time on it now reinforced gate beautiful next would be that was something very important for the food right so we do have a food problem we could go for an additional work slot for the trapper uh, we might do that skinning large ladder communal eating is very important since this one here creates real meals right let's actually go with that so larger ladder first and then we can go for the com communal eating and that is something where we finally do need the water tower here that is something we need to do right small concrete it's over here has been depleted but we have enough of that and yeah we do have quite a lot of unhappiness there right now in the colony and that might be a very nice or very interesting way of how we can fix that probably with the theater and stuff like that entertainment that might be the next big one right so those guys are doing their thing fishing hut we're still low on food And we can now build also the garage. How much does it cost me? Four electricity. Um, but it needs some fuel. We don't have fuel yet. We need to find fuel. And I think we can also craft it ourselves then. I wonder why food is so low. We do have quite a lot of food production buildings right now. Sang, finally you can do some fighting over here. That should be fine. Next turn. Okay, he's still waiting can still explore down here and yeah let's get the tools and the food back home very important and we probably have to send him then right back to the world map right and off he goes again so he's full right off the bat that's very cool and we could clean up more stuff or we just go over here there's some fighting and a car and more areas that we need and over here iodine pills okay something we might need for the next nuclear fallout done all right so medical tent being treated um otherwise looking good so far as the colony is growing we haven't lost anyone in a long time i'm pretty proud of that and hopefully someone decontaminates those buildings here a larger ladder has also been finished communal eating now with the cooking house and the logging camp 
that we can then get with this one. Oh, building is under attack. There is a bug attacking. So we should have a guard. But there is no one posted in the guard. Alright, so it seems like no one can really now attack this bug. So let's send my Sobek back home again. We do need at least one here to defend the settlement. Otherwise... Yeah, we might actually lose this building there. Nah, it's, it's very low there. And I think the guard only attacks within its range. So it shouldn't really go for the beetle there. And deposit depleted pollution. Ah yeah, over here we have cleared the next field. Back on the world map, where's Sobek? Sobek, can you make it in one go? It looks like it. Very good. Sobek is back home. We can fend off the beetle. And there we have some more areas to explore. Oh, some tools, but a very high chance of danger. And there's some fighting. Yeah, that's going to take quite some time there before we can go with that. And Sobek, there he is. Let's attack the beetle. Even though someone is attacking it already. Ah, very cool. Victoria, she is working at the guard post. She's actually going for it. So it's not only within the vicinity here, but she's actually attacking wherever something is. That's pretty good. Right. Alright, so two colonists still mal- Yeah, we don't have any food now anymore. But a specialist is coming in with food soon. We could also now send, say, harvest now. Alright, it's almost pretty full there. And this should give us a nice bump there to my food production. There's also a van approaching now. Dan the mystery van man. And... He wants... Um, a red man screeches to hold their man steps out and immediately climbs up on the roofs. Attention, Dan the mystery van man is here again with his trade market mystery van. Any further inquiries? Okay, let's pay with the resources. 15 fiber, we have so much of it. Dan takes the payment, opens the side door. Oh, too bad, he says with half-heartedly mask grin on his face as the van reveals a great big nothing inside. Alright, screw you. That wasn't very friendly of Dan, the van man. And over here, finally, we have started now harvesting. So we should get plenty, plenty of food in here now soon. Now over here, Sang, another attack. That we can hopefully do. Alright, oh, they're taking a lot of damage there. And Sang is not doing a lot of damage, so he's the wrong person for this type of thing. More metal. Ah, more pills, but let's go for exploration. Exploration is much more exciting. More components, very good, we need them. And communal eating finally has been completed. So we could get the large field, but I actually want to go with another trapper. Because we need we need the, the, the food out of this one here. Right, I keep Sobek. I'm going to keep Sobek now in this town here because I don't like another surprise attack. After this pollution here, we can go over here to that, which is polluting my fields all the time. And we really, really should stay for the food now because I have no idea how to get more food. We have two fields. We probably will need an, even another field. Right, let's get another field. Here. That we can build. We have only one carrier left. Yeah, guard post. We can say bye bye. And the cook house that we can build now. That is the water consumption. So that is something we should have near the water tank. So let's have my cook house here. Right, because that is within the water tower then, which needs the water for the cook house that we can build here now. And the idea is that over here then, we're going to have some entertainment complex. So like a cinema. And the trading, the bartering, for that we're going to have the street then, down here. Actually, there is a street, so we can connect it with that. Going down here. Pack Tactics has also been finished. 
aqua farm. We could we could grow fish ourselves, or we have the advanced mining here for the medium and the large field. And since we still have a food problem, I'm inclined to go with the large field. Yeah, because this opens up the greenhouse, which is very useful in a nuclear fallout. Pack tactics and the research. Very good. Yeah, food is still the problem. Where is my field though? Okay, still harvesting. Should have plenty of food now in store. I hope we have plenty of food soon in store. And that's it for now.